Okay guys, we're about to get out there and do a little bit of turtle jugging. Everybody's been liking the turtle stuff lately. And then this evening we maybe get out on like a little bit of bass fishing. But first, we gotta go get some bait. Look no further. The job shop has There's hamburger. Fancy, fancy fat bag. Where's that at? Here we go. Okay guys, well we got bait and we do have this bow right here. And this is the pond. Remember the pond where I'm, uh, the fire ends ate me up? Well, I was standing right there, and well, here's the pond that's full of turtles. The only problem is we're trying to find a way to get down there. That's like a 10-foot bluff right here, so he's over there knocking down weeds with a paddle. We're trying to find a way. I don't know if we will or not, but this place is stinking full of them. Okay, guys. Well, we're in the water finally. As you can see that, well, if you, I don't know if you can see it or not, this pond is full of grass, and I mean all the way up to the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to pull these up to where it's only a few inches. That way it won't get sunk down in the grass, and the turtles could just come up and get it. And so like on this jug, there's probably about three foot of line on it, but where we've wrapped it around here, there's only that much hanging off. That way it ain't going to get hung up in the grass. So just chuck it out, because these turtles are everywhere. And boom, there's one. we got like six to go. Let's get them. And not only are we out here setting these jugs, but we're actually setting a few limb lines too, which is basically where you tie a string or a piece of bank line straight up to a log or a limb or something in the water. In this case, it's little stick ups like that. And then just hang a piece off that. They work about the same thing as jugs, except they're always gonna stay in one spot and you ain't gonna chase them down. Just right here, we got a big old piece of meat. We're just gonna hook him in once. Bring it around, hook it in twice, and boom. There we go, waiting on a big old turtle to get hooked. Where's a good hole at? And like I said, we're just looking for holes in the grass so that, well, it can get down there a little bit deeper. Got a good little hole of grass, come, hole in the grass coming up right here, and boom. It's right there in the hole. Hopefully a big turtle will come out of that hole and eat it up. We'll see. Okay, guys, we're out of the pond. We ended up setting seven jugs and three bush lines. Now we got the boat halfway up the hill, and we're gonna just going to pull the rest up with the winch right there. It's hot, and that's a fact, guys. It is stinking burning up. Yesterday was supposedly the hottest day of the year, and today is not much different. Okay, guys, we're out here checking them again, again in the boat, you know, because it's a pond. You got to have a boat to get in it. But anyways, uh, predictions real quick. We set out 10. I think we'll at least have three turtles. Maybe not 30 pounds apiece, but I think we'll at least have three turtles. What do you reckon? Yeah, it's thundering right now, so we're this may not. We're going to get wet. We're gonna get wet. That's a pretty good prediction, dude. Look at look up the sky. I mean, yeah, y'all can't see that much. It probably just looks white, but over there is blue. It's raining. Is it raining? Yeah, I'm getting wet. Okay, well it's straight up raining. We may come back in a minute. We're gonna go find a tree to park under until we see if it stops. I mean, it may stop. It may not. We don't know. So apparently Mammy's actually been bit by a turtle and she said they, they don't let go until it thunders. Which is actually a pretty good scenario for us because if we do get bit today, we may only have to wait like 20 minutes before it lets go. So that's a, that's a good part of the day. We may not have a turtle hanging on to us for too long, but besides that, I mean, it's just raining. Ain't much else happening today. It's just raining. And the turnip field for Bucky, hey, this rain will help it for sure. Maybe start them sprouting early or something. I don't know. I ain't no farmer. I took ag for a year and then I dropped out. But I am wearing boots, so that's close enough. Guys, this is not the easiest place to get in the water at all. But we're going to get in there anyhow. Now, just looking at the jugs out there, I don't know. I ain't even going to say nothing. Here we go, but we're in the water now. Let's go check them jugs. You know what I mean? Even though it is about to rain, at least it ain't hot. Okay, I'm about to check this big red jug, see if there's anything on it. It really hasn't moved since we said it. We'll just check it right here and... Oh, we might have one. Nope, I was wrong. Just a bunch of grass. Well, guys, unfortunately, our jugs, they were just dry turtles. Didn't catch a single one. But to make it up to y'all, I'm out here today, and I'm going to be using this cricket. And everybody loves it whenever I use this cricket. This cricket is so awesome because it can catch multiple species at one time. So basically what I'm saying is bass, bluegill, catfish, trout, everything that swims like a seed of cricket. Hopefully we can get on a few different species today, and hey, that's my goal. Catch as many different species as I can. So let's get out there and use this cricket. Oh, and one thing I just noticed, they actually just mowed this and just weeded it. What that does is that actually helps me because now all the fish are tuned in to eating bugs that maybe the weed eater or lawnmower slung into the water. Just like my cricket. Here we go, the first cast. See if maybe I might get something on my first cast here. Hopefully we can. There he is. That's a good one there. That, yeah, big bass right here. Just like I said, guys, we may catch bass, we may catch bluegill, we may catch a trout. It's untelling, but nice bass, too. We're going to just leave. Oh, he's fighting. He ain't hooked the best. We may lose him right here, but hey, guys, trust me. We got a bass here. Just going to lift him up on the back. Here we go, baby. That's a nice one right there, too. Nice bass. Really is. On a cricket, guys. I'm telling you right now, Rebel, I'm not sponsored by them whatsoever, 
but boys y'all just need to go to walmart and pick you up a little rebel cricket because boys man dang man they're just like the taj mahal my friend fish catching machine and there's no doubt how they weed eated this and threw all that grass in there there's no doubt that helped me because then this bass was on the prowl looking for bugs that had been thrown in the water and boom there was my cricket exactly what he was looking for and boom we're gonna get him in right there there you go buddy bite my bait soon son buy my bait soon oh next cast that's my next cast now i just got another fish oh dang it he spit that thing there's something i don't know if it's a big bluegill or a bass but son i got something all right oh man whatever it is it's a big one yeah he is he's fighting like oh it's a bass yeah it's a bass it's a good bass too no doubt he may not be hooked the best but hey i got him right now yep nice little bass get him up here hoorah baby that's what we're talking about on a cricket son don't tell me bass don't eat crickets son oh bass love crickets and if you don't believe me look right there bass on a cricket there you go he thinks he's gonna get out of it but i ain't letting go you can shake some more buddy i ain't letting go but anyways nice little bass on a nice little cricket bass do eat crickets and bass love crickets you know, guys, I'm not going to lie at all. The one thing I thought I'd catch, which is like a ton of bluegill, I've not even caught a bluegill yet. I mean, I've saw a few like stare at it, but the bluegill's not really committed yet today. Maybe we'll get one right here before the day's over, but the bass have been hammering it, that's for sure. There's a bass. Dang, guys, that's like four bass right here. If I can land this and this like my third bass landed and like my fourth or fifth bass bite, and boom. Oh, I landed him, sort of. Oh, mm footwork baby i might as well be a soccer player Ooh. E. yep i'm going pro let's go fifa nice little grassy bass right there but uh yeah he chomped on the cricket now let's try to get some bluegill guys we've got three bass and zero bluegill that don't even sound right when you're using a cricket but hey i'm gonna work my magic see if i can't make something happen that did not just happen Oh my gosh, I just broke off the cricket. I just broke off the cricket. Oh man, I broke it on the same stinking tree I broke off that mouse. But that's okay, because they're literally two and a half bucks at Walmart. A lot of you guys have actually been wanting some decals, and boom, I gotcha. Now this one right here, this is just a prototype. This isn't the final. The bullet's gonna be a little bit different. The horn's a little bit different. This was just one to make sure, you know, it looks halfway decent. The dimensions are gonna be four inches tall and six inches wide right there. Here, Here's what it looks like on the back, of, you know, just like a normal truck. You can put it there in the corner, anywhere you want to. But that there is now for sale guys you can go down first look in the description should be kindlegray1.com you can pick up a decal but instead of just selling the decal i've actually made a decal slash sticker pack where you can get one of these decals four by six and you get two two by two stickers where you know you can put them anywhere on your helmet if you ride bikes or something like that on your bike on the back of a trapping shack on wheels if you guys got one but yeah those are finally up first link in the description or kindlegray1.com and what i'm actually thinking of not yet but it's coming like really soon guys is actually like a kindle gray signature series combo pack where you get the t-shirt you get one of these decals and three stickers two to keep and one to give to your friends but anyways guys if you want one go down first link in the description besides that roll the outro if you're not already go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button in the middle if you already subscribed feel free to watch more videos on the left and as always favorite squad post it up on the right if you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrade1.com or the link in the description. Don't forget to smash the like button, and besides that, hey, I'll see you later.